guys welcome back so I'm going to tell you a wee variation it's a slight variation on the gorgeous George there's a tear so I'm just going to show you how to put it together the hook in the vise is a Camazon B175 and size 10 and it ties down to size 12 I'm going to put a tag on first at the back of glow bright floss number 4 now, this is dead easy I just come in at the back just where the bend so the way it starts to form. Seven or eight turns down, bring away the waist end, but keep the tension on your on the floss and then just work your floss back up to where you started. And then a two turn work finish. Just put that nice and tight up against where you started. Just want to cut this as cleanly as you can so that you don't have any lumps or bumps when you go to put a wee drop of UV resin on it. This is more just to protect the, the glow bright. Make it last a, a few extra fish. Then I just come in with my needle and just basically just spread it all around the tag. We put onto the hook too. Then we'll just light this up. Alright, what I like to do is just, just put on a wee touch of clear varnish just over the UV resin. This just seals everything up. Sorry. Let that dry and put one in that's a hook that's already, that's already dried. So we'll get that into the vise. The thread we're going to use is the Uni Thread 80 in far orange. But you use whatever thread you've got. So just going to work my thread straight down to the tag and then remove the waist tag of thread and I should have enough in this to get a tail. This is about 8 strands of uh, glow bright floss number 11. The original pattern used I think fluorescent wool the tail so we'll just come in and clip this away it's really right worried about the length of the bot length of the tail it's up to yourself it's your own personal preference I mean some people like it really short long I just I don't know why I just go somewhere in the, in the middle even when I'm facing the fly I don't overthink it that much just get rid of that caught on my fingers the rib and a Volco tinsel. This is a golden size 14 that I'm using. Now you don't need to be too fussy here guys, just what I like to do is just make sure everything's tied in nice and secure. Body's gonna be dubbed, so dubbing hides a multitude of sins. Bring the thread back down, tied up against their tail. Now the dubbing on the original was uh, like a yellow olive. What I'm going to do here is this is just straight through. This is the golden olive from the traditional Irish dubbing range. Now you, you can't mix it, you can mix a wee bit of medium olive in with it. And that will give you that yellowy olive flavour some people may like but it's a lovely colour this golden olive body hackle this is a bar ginger match grade 2 it's been dyed a golden olive so I'm just going to catch that in I'm going to fold the tip back bring my thread back up over the stem apologies not the tip 
from that back and it get usually two to three turns at the shoulder of the fly and then three to four turns down the body however you may like to dress it a wee bit more sparse or a wee bit more bushier it's up to you so four turns of the oval gold up through the body just make sure it's in front this is what's holding the whole fly together here's the rib trim away the oval gold tinsel break away the tip of the haggle I'm just coming with my velcro just brush everything back <coughs> now on the original pattern it was uh, just dyed orange, natural, pre natted cock fasten tail fiber. This here, these are just dyed, so they're extracted and dyed straight through. Now, I'll show you the feather in a wee second. You want the legs nice and long, so just bring in the knot on the fasten tail, sort of way to the length of the tail. Now I'll just sit and knot these myself when I'm in the mood rather than buy them. You know, some people say better things to do with their team. <laughs> I'm just going to catch softly and just catch that one in. And the reason why I'm doing that is because they're not the same length of fibres that I've tied the pheasant tail with. Then I'm just going to come in and clip away the waist. Just get it all nicely trimmed away. Sweep everything back and just tighten up over the cut ends. Just bring my thread back up nice and tight. I'll just show you the feather here. So that's the feather there. The orange. It's more like a sunburst type of colour. It's just you extract the colour, the colour's been extracted out of it and then dyed a nice orange. <coughs> the front haggle, you're going to an olive uh, sort of a cock or hen haggle. This one that I'm going to use here. This has been dyed in with picric acid. You can see at the bottom here the acids. good stuff to, for dyeing however just be careful make sure you've got your gloves on now a couple of turns fold back the tip it's just that the you can't buy the, the solution I think there is a solution of the picric acid uh, I think it's done by Sampify I, I can't remember but I I have none of the, the crystals left. I must get some. I just I'm gonna take three turns of this wee haggle. Because I love the I love the colour, the saddle of colour of this cape. So using up the the food feather there. I'll follow this around with my thread. A couple of tight turns in, sweep the stem of the haggle back. Just work the thread back up over the stem and break that away. And you've got a wee false haggle to put on, so you're looking some guinea fowl uh, dyed orange. Let's get one out of the packet here. Or if you don't have guinea fowl, you can always just use a an orange cock haggle or hen haggle, just whatever you've got. Don't need to go out and buy all the stuff to create these flies, all the correct materials guys. That feather's too good. I'm gonna get another one. Sneak a better one here. So just strip away the rubbish from the bottom. And just get the tips to line up a couple of pinches. It's usually enough for me. Just roll them around my fingers. Start for these up 
in underneath the hook. Come around with a pinch and loop. A couple of turns now. The moved to my side. Just keep the pit, just keep pinching your hook, don't let it go. And just come around and bring it back around straight. And then you can have a wee check, see where you are. That's ground. And then just come in and these pair of sharp scissors and trim away the waste. Come in and sweep everything back. And then just tighten up. Now the George does require jungle cut. It is in the pattern. So we need to get two the eyes here. <coughs> We don't have jungle cat guys, leave it off or you could use um, the bats, the goose bats. Now I'm just going to put these all individually. Just to get them to, to sit because they're very very small. a touch to get the length that I want. Pinch. A couple of turns now. It's still worth me having a wee check just to see where you are. Now I'm happy with that. So just going to come in and pinch the, the hook again, particularly the jungle cock eyes. Just going to take another turn. I still want to fold the stems back because I want the, the eyes to last. As in, they'll have to break off now. They can't pull out. So, nice and tight. Then we can come in and break away the stems. I say, that one there doesn't want to come away, so we'll just trim it. I want to brighten the head up. You can just finish with the fair orange thread, it's up to you, but I've done all the other flies the same, so we'll keep this one in the same vein. Just going to go back to my Glow Bright Floss number 4 that we use for the, the tag at the back, and then just come in up over the top of the head. Now, what I want to say to you here is you don't need to worry about covering all of the thread here at the head simply because it's far orange. Now if I was using white thread I would want to sort of try and cover it all the best that I could. Then just come straight in and throw in a wet finish. Pull the floss nice and tight. Come in and trim away the glow bright floss itself. Now come in and remove the, the waste end. Now before I put the glue on, I'm just going to take off any sort of excess wax. And then just come straight in with your super glue. Just rake the whole way right round. Gotta make sure the eyes clean. But what I like to do is just to take the your double needle and underneath the eye, and then and with a wee drop of wire, make sure the eyes clean. And there you go, guys. Just a variant on the on the George. <coughs> so just to show you, right the whole way right round. So there you go guys, hopefully it's can tie a few of those up. That's gonna go with them ones there. And I've one more to do, which is here. So as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, until the next time, take care of yourselves and all being well. I'll catch you on the next one guys. Thanks, bye.